Hey friends, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with the OSP Pro. In this video again, I'm going to be working with you guys on how to use your W3CSS with uh, OSP Online Text Editor. But this time around, we are going to be looking on to how to come up with a complete grid. Now I'm going to be showing you the grid from scratch so that we get to know how the things work. So I'm just going to change my introduction here and I call just maybe W3CSS grid with OSP text editor. You get so this W3CSS grid uh, with OSP editor. Now our main point is about the editor and which is going to be from OSP grid. Now you can also enable in your you know you can also add in your comments so don't say comment is not working on this editor you can actually comment it you can actually provide it down and then it will work out for you so on the other way around this platform is very very nice and i really love it because i can programming i can make my mobile app develop, i can develop my mobile app with it i can come up with one cross-platform kind of application maybe another thing that i need to go on further depth to really look on to and i have to advise I me mean, ad to make this application ad I mean advanced which i'll make the one for premium where you guys you can even compile your a mobile app like i'll add even the cmd into this application web after making up your coding this side you can run this side and down here you'll have a click button which can compile your application into an apk so otherwise that's going to be the next time no now i'm still doing i'm still coming up with that algorithm but this time around let's look onto the grid section using the w3 css with osp editor now this is it if you just look onto the other one to come up with an editor i mean uh sorry to come up with uh one on us uh, the grid section. What's the grid? The grid is like when this website or this application is in a smartphone How does it respond? Like for instance, if you check onto here, if I try to come in here, you see how that application looks like? See, if I come in here, but I see how it looks like, let me take this the resistance You see, it takes the complete width of this, which is not good But I'm looking onto this. This is the real size how the application should look onto on a smartphone I think text most cases text that this size in smartphone you get now we need to really look on to how this application of ours takes the width remember here i designed here whereby this takes 50 percent and this takes 50 percent now instance takes in that whereby if i happen to use this on a smartphone this should be taking the width 100 percent of the median size you get now look on to here i'm going to be adding here my own as my grid so I'm going to just add in something called maybe my W3 minus, actually W3 minus zero. Remember whenever you're dealing up with the grading in W3 CSS, we should always talk about the, 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 on what something called maybe, uh, we need to know how to divide up the given element in W3 CSS. So I just need to go on here and I add in my simple kind of plugin or login uh, details. Okay, plugin to uh, W3 division details. Remember to talk about something called the grid deep plies in a simple term. We are going to divide the sections of this given application so that it can definitely take the width of a given specified element. Now this is it for instance if I happen to go back down here I'm going to just simply say maybe I'm going to take a half half of the page so I'm going to simply say W3 minus quarter I mean minus a half sorry minus a half and here I can definitely just go back here and I add something called maybe H, H4 if I told us what we want us to come up with and I can't call it maybe maybe this is going to be the first half you get the first half of that website so without wasting time I'm just going to copy this fair code I'm going to copy the same code and I'm going to go down and I paste it. Now the reason why it takes like that is because of this stuff. You get? And I think I need to work on this too. So that I can always scroll this time down. Because this part should be scrolled down like this. So that we can actually make the big size if you want. And you can also bring it back if it is possible. Now that will be in the premium section. So guys you should find it in the premium section. Now underneath here, if I also happen to say W3 minus maybe blue or oh, blue, sorry, uh, I say that's a half. Let me shake this. Uh huh. Let me shake that. This W3 minus row. This class. This uh, class that. So if I go in that class, W3 minus maybe blue. How about if I say W3 minus green? You need to find out why it's not working. 
uh, I need to get that off first it. I want to find out why it's not responding to me. Because if I go back here and I say double three minus colors uh, equals double three minus blue. So it takes the complete wood it has that, which is good. And then how about if I go on here down? just going to copy this remember the reason why this is like this because of the width remember they set the width to be uh, something like that that's why it takes that otherwise it should be it 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 should be something whereby it takes the core the, the half of that because I'm using this kind of section here but I'm going to be showing on the detail on depth when I'm talk, they're talking about the bootstrap okay bootstrap I'll be showing you guys how to deal with it mainly on bootstrap so that we see how this thing tends to work more in here. and then down here i can just open up my simple text data a uh, sublime text so that i can generate up the complete code uh, for for something like maybe uh, i'm gonna just go back down here on my page so that i can generate something simple like maybe paragraph sorry let's like just lorem and then i generate a complete code you know that's it so that's it good for that and then okay so that's it so if i happen to go back on my application now and i go back down here on my first page poop i can also open up their paragraph like that so if i definitely that just happened up paste that code there i think you can see that section takes care of that and then also on this part of the section of the site if i just go back down here on page i try to copy this all code that we have there on our page we should have been impossible to come up with the complete application for this given stuff so that's it definitely that's how it doesn't look like that now on the other way around you can even go further and you try to add some kind of you guys you guys who might be interested on in adding some kind of href you know that's how it's like if we shake that and then I'm just going to close that href of ours so I can definitely add a link here like for instance I'm just going to say HTTPS full column for slash and I say Google maybe Google.com you get now Google.com this directs us to Google you get so boop, I think you can see the link boop, when you click there oh god oh god this is the link and I think you can see it's directing you to Google. <laughs> oh God, you <laughs> see. So I refuse to connect. Just them Google. Google refuse to connect because I'm inside. Oh my given URL. So otherwise, that's how to lie. And I don't want to refresh. If I try to refresh off, I'll get. I lose almost all this content because I didn't create up the database that saves up a given application that's designed by a given user so in a simple term i don't want to give that because i'll be saving a lot of unnecessary information for given client now on the other way around what i have to let you guys know is that this application of mine is having enabled javascript built-in function so you don't need to refresh the page whenever you're creating up your given application with this maybe on the other way around what i just need to do with it i can do i'm just going to add for something called the compile whereby when you try to make an epic apk from your html editor you can just click down here and compile or somewhere here compile and then to generate for you the apk complete apk from your application without wasting time otherwise guys thank you for watching this video and that's how definitely definitely how we can tend to add in one on us the simple grid section in your w3 css with osp modify simple editor otherwise have a blessed day please stay safe and please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos at osp uh osp pro whereby you're going to be getting a chance to get no more about us too for those of you guys also want to run all the courses you can also definitely just click on here and then this will take you straight to our course platforms where you guys you can get a chance to enroll for those of you guys who are interested into website designing and coming up with application we can definitely do that for you 
so you don't need to waste time and for you guys who may also be interested on in coming up with systems and application like that you can definitely just comment down below by click on this page and then i'll be in a position to enroll to you or to come up with you for a given application or a system otherwise i also have some other systems of mine which i already have them here uh, some of them are, have the ebooks and house have the e systems whereby you can just click on here then you're going to be getting a chance to see some of the system we have or you can even go further and buy otherwise you can also go on to my face your youtube channel and definitely get a chance to see and view also most of our things and get chances to see how you our things looks like or you can also give you an order and then i design for you one otherwise guys stay safe and please make sure you stay safe because coronavirus kills thank you guys love you thank you